Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about VMware HCX. HCX full form is Hybrid Cloud Extension. So here is the agenda. First, we'll uh, quickly understand what are all the customer challenges and solution, and what is VMware HCX and why choose VMware HCX? What are the key capabilities of VMware HCX? And what are the HCX editions? And what are the real world use cases for VMware HCX? Okay, so this is the icon for the HCX. Okay, and now let's start with the first point. So customer challenges and solution. So solution anyhow, we, our key topic is VMware HCX. So that is only solution for all these challenges. So let's talk about the challenges now. So most of the customers, they are planning for a workloads are difficult to move to the cloud. Let's say they have on-premises infrastructure. They are planning to migrate all their workloads to cloud environment. The cloud can be either private cloud, public cloud. So public cloud means all hyperscaler, vendors like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and so on. So in order to plan to migrate their workload, either a VCF environment, VMware Cloud Foundation, that means private cloud environment, or a public cloud environment, we have to choose which cloud is best suitable for the customer specific workload. That is the one challenge. And let's say we already migrated the workload to any of the hyperscaler public cloud. And later, when we plan to migrate back, that is nothing but a VM migration back challenge. Okay, so how we can migrate our all our workload from cloud to on-premises, that is also one challenge. And third point is, no proactive disaster avoidance. So just in case, if there is any disaster occurs, in case of any outage, and how we can recover quickly. That is also one challenge. And data center resources constraints. Let's say our organization have a two sites of locations. For example, one, org one location is in Singapore and another location is in Malaysia or any of the other locations like India. So let's say one of the location, site location within a region, Singapore have a resource constraint. We are planning to migrate their resources to the India location, either Hyderabad data center or Pune data center or Chennai data center. Or if you want to move the resources to the Malaysia data center, it depends on the customer choice because customer have a multiple branches and multiple data center location. If any data center have a resource constraint, we should aware where we need to move our workloads to nearby any of the data center. So during that migration scenario, that is a one challenge, how we can migrate. And also how about the cost control? Even while migrating, there may be some cost involved, but in order to reduce the cost, what is the options? So these are all the most commonly customer used challenges, faced challenges. So to address these challenges, VMware come up with a solution, that solution called HCX. HCX means hybrid cloud extension. So this extension will help us for all the workload migrations. So the high level solution capability is enable application migration and workload mobility. Here workload means workload mobility. Mobility means general meaning is move or migration. Okay, migrate. So workload mobility means generally it can involve various scenarios. So workload means it can be a virtual machine or a container application or any of the tier based application or data. This all comes under a workload. So workload mobility in includes VM migration, containers migration, application mobility. The application mobility means relocating the application, entire application and databases mobility, database migration, and also how we can quickly recover. This all included with a workload mobility.
okay and accelerating the stdc modernization stdc means software defined data center modernization that means suppose our customer is using only vsphere if they want to migrate it to the private cloud with stdc modernization that scenario also we need a hcx solution and multi cloud journey so even customer want to move from on premises to cloud not only one cloud with a plan to migrate it to multiple hyperscalers that is also this solution capable okay and this is the icon for hcx whatever the point we discuss let's say we can migrate from on premises to private cloud and even from on premises to public cloud and even we can also migrate vm the challenge is vm migration how we can back from public to private using hcx that both vice versa is possible either we can make any to any migration we can migrate from on premises to private or private to on premises similarly public cloud to on premises or public cloud to private any kind of migrations is possible using this hybrid cloud extension solution okay so now let's talk about the definition of hcx so what is vmware hcx means as i mentioned hcx full form is hybrid cloud extension it streamlines application migration workload rebalancing and business continuity across data centers and clouds not only on premises data center it's applicable for clouds as well and move application seamlessly that means continuously between environments at scale that means large scale and avoid the cost and complexity of refactoring applications or rearchitecturing networks here rearchitecturing network means one example is suppose customer infrastructure is using nsxv nsxv means nsx for vspa and they want to migrate it to nsxt nsx transformers or latest version they rename it as a nsx even for nsxv to nsx also this solution is applicable okay and here is the high level architecture for hcx this exam this diagram illustrates the source data center is running with stdc environment stdc means software defined data center we have server virtualization vspa and we have storage virtualization vsan network virtualization and sx when we have a all server virtualization network virtualization storage virtualization this com combination of vspear vsan and nsx we call it as a stdc environment or vcf environment vmware cloud foundation environment so within this source data center we have the stdc platform even the remote data center that means it can be any site let's say we have one site is in hyderabad another site is in a pune even between these two sites if i want to migrate a virtual machine from one data center to another data center normally v motion concept or sv motion concept is applicable within a data center within a v center level but when we plan to do for across the regions or across sites we require this hcx solution okay that's the reason the name itself it says hybrid cloud extension okay it will allows to migrate the workloads from remote to data center to source data center or vice versa okay and it's not only for application migration or as i mentioned workload mobility means it includes vm migration container migration and relocating the entire applications data mobility and also disaster recovery all are included okay and you we may get a question why choose vmware hcx the main high level overview is workload mobility across stacks so this stacks includes not only specific to vspear this tool is supported from 6.0 plus onwards that means 6.0 to 6.5 6.7 7.0 .7 and latest version 8 series as well and these migrations can be let's start observing from first one the first one is non vspear infrastructure non vspear infrastructure is nothing but it's supported for kvm that means red hat kvm hyper v 
these are the examples for non vSphere hypervisor platforms using non vSphere platform also this hcx tool will support to migrate work workload from this non vSphere to cloud environment that is one scenario and second scenario even vSphere on premises vSphere infrastructure workloads that means virtual machines or container application can be migrated to cloud this cloud can be private cloud or public cloud okay and another scenario third scenario is modern enterprise data center that means vmware cloud foundation so specific from vmware cloud foundation to a remote vcf location also we can it we can migrate our workloads and vmware managed clouds vmware managed clouds means vmware hybrid cloud environments like vmware cloud on aws vmware cloud on Dell emc this product also will help us do using hcx we can migrate virtual machines to cloud that means vmware workload to migrate workload to aws okay and another scenario fifth scenario is vmware cloud provider partners that means vcpp so we have a vmware cloud provider partners also the same kind of migration is possible using hybrid cloud extension hcx tool and similarly hyperscalers hyperscalers is nothing but a all our public cloud vendors like oracle cloud are using that solution name we call it as oracle cloud vmware solution and google cloud solution name is google cloud vmware VMware engine in short form GCVE and Azure VMware solution. All these products, this HCX will help us to migrate virtual machine vice versa. That's why we can see, observe the arrow. It is from local, local VCF to cloud. Again, similarly, cloud to VCF. So vice versa, these migrations are possible using HCX solution. Okay. Hope you understand why we choose vmware hscx now let's understand what are the key capabilities of vmware hscx this hscx key capabilities are in high level workload mobility van optimization and hybrid connectivity so workload mobility means we are aware that cold migration cold migration means virtual machine is in power off state we are migrating vm to source to destination data center and bulk migration bulk migration is nothing but a group of vms we are migrating to from source data center to destination so when i mention data center means either it can be on premises private cloud or public same scenarios okay and v motion means it can be a live migration it's not cold it's a live migration live migration means there will be no downtime to production and replication assisted v motion replication assisted v motion means this is nothing but a we are using live bulk migration instead of v motion means one vm bulk migration when we combine live bulk this combine these two features is nothing but a replication assisted v motion and os assisted migration that is nothing but a non vSphere environment migration and mobility groups mobility groups is nothing but a generally when we identify some set of vms those set of vms we can group logically that logical group of vms also we can migrate okay so mobility means migrate so migrate group means we are just logically group of some VMs and migrate it. And the migration estimation, even how long will it take that estimation also, we can estimate using this HCX tool. That is called workload mobility, workload migration. And the WAN optimization, it support for your data deduplication and compression, and similarly, line conditioning. And another point hybrid connectivity so for this hybrid connectivity so hcx uses network extension so network extension is nothing but a extend the l2 layer 2 networks from on premises to the cloud so it won't be a necessary to change the vm's ip or mac address within the network extension and network extension high availability means it is also having a dual line so that there will be no impact to the during the migration so it can be migrate from vlan to vxlan or it can be migrate from vxlan to vxlan or network mapping for a specific virtual machine migrations and also traffic in uh, traffic engineering is nothing but a it is completely with a data encapsulation and also the data 
compression, security layer only, and mobility optimized networking. That is nothing but a network extension with proximity routing, and it is specifically mapped to the all virtual machine migrations. Okay, so this is the key capabilities of VMware HCX. Now let's talk about what are the HCX editions available. So currently we have HCX two types of editions, advanced and enterprise. So enterprise is nothing but it, there will be some add-on features. Okay, and within your advance depends on the customer requirement, we can buy the specific licenses. So advanced license generally it have a hybrid interconnect and van optimization with the deduplication compression features. Bulk migration means so huge number of VMs we can migrate and cross cloud. That means any cloud, one cloud to different cloud, private to public or public to private, vice versa. This kind of migrations is possible and disaster recovery. That means how quickly we can recover this feature is also available and network extension is nothing but a, it's like a VLAN to VXLAN or VXLAN to VX and also network mapping for all virtual machine migration that is called network extension. That feature is included in an advanced feature as well as this same features applicable in enterprise as well. But when it comes to enterprise, definitely there will be some advanced features. So within this advanced additional add-on features network extension high availability that means continuously available for all the networks that means dual networks are available so that in case of one network goes down still there is another network to continue our migrations and replicate replication assisted vmotion replication assisted vmotion is nothing but a live bulk migration with zero downtime so this feature not available in advanced and OS assisted migration means as I mentioned that is only for non vSPR workloads to cloud my cloud environment migration mobility group means grouping of some logical virtual machines some group of VMs we can migrate that means the count is lesser than the bulk migration and the traffic engineering means TCP flow more flow conditioning and application path resiliency features available and mobility optimized networking means automated route management as VMs migrate from source to destination or vice versa. Okay, so these are all the HCX enterprise add-on features. Okay, now let's talk about what are the real world use cases for VMware HCX. So whatever the concepts we discussed until now, these all the real world use cases like migrate, that means from on-premises or private cloud to public. So this diagram shows about on-premises, one data center to another data center or one data center to cloud, public cloud or private cloud to public cloud. Okay, that same points we highlighted here, DC consolidation, DC evacuation and cloud adoption. Okay, and it will also support one key use phase for the HCX is upgrade and re-platform. So re-platform means, let's say our source data center is completely, we are planning for a brown fleet to planning for a tech refresh, we are moving to a remote data center. That is upgrade scenario. That means old version to new version migration. And another scenario is, our existing on-premises environment to cloud. That means capturing a new workload and vSphere re-platform. That means from old version six, uh, either it is a five series version or six series, it can be old to new re-platform also possible. Okay, and so sorry, re-platform also possible and another scenario a rebalance so even for the rebalance also possible from one region to another region and business continuity that means disaster recovery during this scenario hcx also uses the srm tool site recovery manager and it will also support it for the teleco customers so teleco customers means generally hcx has been adopted to enable management of network functions in teleco environment which includes the features like ip mobility xnf life cycle and distribution okay so now let's uh, here now i'm going to give you a quick overview of complete hcx concept here is the key takeaway so when we see the hcx 
let's understand the infrastructures first the first one is existing source infrastructure source infrastructure it can be a vSphere or it can be a non vmware vSphere that is one scenario second scenario cloud foundation so cloud foundation means it comes with the management workload and workload domain management workload domain and workload domain we have a workload domain one workload domain two and the third scenario public cloud public cloud means all that it's applicable for all hyperscalers and fourth scenario is cloud foundation remote site we have a four sites here so let's understand from first scenario so first scenario existing source infrastructure from vmware old version to we can migrate it to latest version of cloud foundation that migration is possible and if when we migrate one vm we call it as vmotion when we migrate multiple n number of vms we call it as bulk migration OS assisted migration is nothing but a non VMware based workload. That means it's applicable for KVM and Hyper-V. We can also migrate. That is called OS assisted migration. And when we another type of migration is HCX interconnect, that means we are using a network extension L2 network extension model. This model, when the both sides are pair it can be initiate the migration and when it comes to cloud migration we have a multiple options see from old to new it's a one way migration but from new to public cloud it is a two way migration we can migrate from vmware cloud foundation to hybrid cloud and a sim public cloud and vice versa public cloud to we can migrate the workloads back to cloud foundation one example tool is vmware cloud on aws and during this scenario we can also utilize srm replication and the replication assisted vmotion feature also can use and the same like here hcx interconnect feature also we can use and we can use vmotion feature bulk migration features we can use from cloud foundation site to cloud foundation remote site so this is the complete high level overview of hcx but for the lab setup and all i will plan to discuss in the later sessions hope you understand what is hcx what is the hcx key features hcx use cases and all okay so now here is the our nan cloud garage youtube channel complete playlist overview we have a, all the hardware concepts, compute and storage concepts, and our main core concept of STDC, vSphere, NSX, and Tanju Kubernetes Grid, and NSX. All concepts are covered I already, and we also covered the ARIA Automation, ARIA Orchestrator, ARIA Operations Manager, and Login Site. This VRLI is the formal names, okay? And VRLCM Lifecycle Manager, ARIA Suit Enterprise, Network Insight. And also I covered some public cloud integrations and VCF concepts within our channel. And HCX is a today's concept. And we also have a Tanju portfolio TMC for cloud management. And OpenShift Container Platform also, it's a open hybrid cloud platform. I covered a few concepts of Red Hat OpenShift within our channel. And even we covered some of the data production solutions and including we also covered the interview preparation for overall all these core tools and cloud concepts. Okay, if you want to search, just search in the YouTube, Dinan Cloud Garage, go to the playlist, you will find all the relevant videos. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.